Has the torch been passed? Or is Vladimir Klitschko going to grab it back? And continue his extraordinary career. It's scheduled for 12, of course. Joshua coming in at a career heavy, at uh, only 250 pounds. That's only a pound heavier than he was in his last fight against Eric Molina. And he's been in the 240s for the last couple of years now. As for Klitschko, well, we saw on the scales, and we've already touched on this, Alex, looking absolutely sensational at uh, 241. And uh, if that's a 41-year-old, he looks better than most guys half his age. Yeah, he certainly does. He looks fantastic. The, the condition on his back, his arms, his torso, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal for a man of his age. And it just shows you, Nick, how, how hard he's worked in the, in the build-up to this. Well, when you've been a champ, as champion as long as he has, of course, you're so motivated, but this is uh, territory that he's not particularly used to in recent years. Coming in as the challenger, yep. the underdog. Yep, it will be a bit of a, a shock to the system, but he has been here before, he has experienced most things in boxing, he has had to claw back from defeats before, we've seen him do that with great success. So, to touch on the the start of this bout, Nick, the technical aspects here, we'll see him a uh, classic Klitschko fencing with his left hand to judge range and distance, which he does unbelievably well. His right hand works as a lever almost, and a good defensive tool, and he'll throw his left hand from low, he'll throw it from the side, he'll throw it from high, just to give Anthony Joshua a lot to think about. And he won't do anything silly early, until he knows he has that measure and that reach. He's a very, very, very intelligent boxer. A lot more intel there's a lot more going on than, than the eye can see when Vladimir Klitschko is boxing. And you've got to have a very good eye to pick some of these things up. So the only success with the lead left hand here for Joshua. Moving through down the middle. He's keeping the older man at bay, giving yeah. him something to think about yeah, as well. Certainly. You've got to, like you're saying, you've got to give Klitschko a little bit of that back. You've got to give him plenty of variety with the jab. You cannot be too predictable with Klitschko. Too obvious. And I think that Tyson Fury showed that better than anyone. You've really got to give Klitschko lots to think about. If your patterns are typical and your attacks are ponderous or, or obvious, you're in a lot of trouble because he'll make you pay so badly. Terrific footwork and balance. It's one of the things people tend not to talk about with Vladimir Klitschko as well, is his, his footwork has always been exemplary. Yeah, fantastic. And you don't win Olympic gold medals for being a crude slugger, do you? So you don't. Oh, Klitschko with a fast start here, bringing the right hand into play there. Just uh, caught Joshua. We didn't see uh, much use of the backhand from either man in that range-finding first round. And uh, you can see Joshua looking to get the jab established. He had some success with those jabs that he kind of converted almost into crosses in that first round. But we expected it to be very wary, very tactical. There's no way this was going to be some kind of crude slugfest, as you say. Well, there's that old saying in this game, you get old overnight. No sign of old age about Vladimir yeah. Klitschko at no, all. Certainly not. You can see him again using that left hand as a defensive tool, as a lever, as a measuring tool as well. And he knows what he's doing, Nick. He knows exactly what he's doing here. And it can be used as well to keep an opponent just at bay and out of range. I mean, he used that so effectively against David Hay, who just never could get anywhere near him. Yeah. Could he? Uh, no. uh, again, it was different with Fury, a totally different experience, because Fury just played such a different game. But yeah. uh, Joshua's going to have to make sure he doesn't walk into the David Hay trap. Yeah. yeah. And David Hay's a fantastic boxer as well. And he had an absolute nightmare with clutch goal. So there you go, out of range. And a long way out of range there as well. But that comes, that comes with the turf if you're going up against Vladimir Klitschko. You know you're going to miss a lot. And Joshua moving well early as well here. 
It's a real thinking man's fight this through the first couple of rounds. Seems like both of them just said, I'm not even going to bring the backhand in yet. You know, too much respect for the opponent. Yeah. And fear of being countered as well. Yes. But what will happen when it does land by either man? Who will be the first to detonate a huge right hand on the other? And what will the reaction be? There always used to be questions, and I'm going back in the day with Vladimir now. Yeah. You, you, you dig into that record a little bit. Three uh -huh. stoppages. You always yeah. have that feeling. You know, Big Brother was yeah. one of those guys, you know, you could hit him with everything yeah. and nothing, oh, nothing yeah. was going to knock yeah. him down. But if you, could, if you yeah. could land cleanly on Vladimir, you could get him out of there. Uh -huh. And as I say, some guys did. Josh will be thinking, if I can get my right hand landing clean, I can get this fella out of there early. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vladimir Klitschko certainly knows how to protect that weakness, if such it is. A nice bounce in the step as well. <laughs> flappy, flappy right hand there from Anthony Joshua. Pitchko was too good for him defensively there as well. Yeah. And a little bit of weight on the back leg as well. Pitchko taking a little, a, a, a little bit of his, his actual height, his natural height. Sometimes lays back on the back leg. Of course, is normally to lure the opposition in so he can come back with a good counter. You almost get the feeling that Anthony Joshua almost has to put them together, Matt, don't you? Yes. One punch is just never going to no. be enough against Vladimir no. Klitschko, is it? No. And you're going to have to give him variety on those combinations yeah. as well. And you're going to have to be patient because he's yeah. going to make you miss a lot, as uh -huh. he did there. You know, you hear the cheers from the back of the arena, but there wasn't much landing there from Joshua. Trying to reserve your energy into the bargain. Not an easy task taking on Vladimir Klitschko. You've got so much to consider. Look at that movement for a 41 year old that a lot of people were saying was maybe past his best. He looks pretty good to me. Yeah, he's always lived the life, he's always been with his brother. Exemplary professionals. Yeah. It's the, uh, it's the chair that's working, the left hand that's working for Joshua, if anything, just can't find the right hands at the moment. Yeah, he's showing that patience that he needs. There's no way you can rush your work against Vladimir Klitschko. If you start rushing things and forcing things, Klitschko can make you look really bad. Good job there from Klitschko. Again. Joshua just overreaching a little yeah, bit. And, and Not quite goes, his time goes out of there. He's gone, yeah. isn't he? Just bounces yeah. back. Yeah. Wonderful footwork of his. Just to tuck that chin down. Anthony Joshua will try and put the combinations together. And he will have to realise that he has to start at long range. And the punches have to flow from long to middle to short range. And he has to try and keep punching when he's up close as well. As difficult as that is against Klitschko, who loves to just tangle you up and smother you, he knows where to grip you and how to hold your arms to prevent you from working inside. He's very, very good at that as well. It is a defensive tactic and it is an effective one, one that people think is just being used to prevent a fight breaking out, but in fact, he's taken a wee bit of energy out yet and he's using it to his advantage. He's also frustrating you to the point where if you've got a little bit of inexperience there, it can tire you out. Vladimir, the former champion, the long-time champion. Oh, good right hand now. Yeah, he's, this is how he started the second round. It's almost like he thinks they can... They think, and Jonathan Banks thinks, well, we can catch him cold early. And maybe he doesn't switch on for those first few seconds. Yeah. That, that one, that had an effect. And one of the start of the second round, I think just more woke him up than anything, but Joshua felt that one. Yeah, he sure did. Very accurate, well placed as well. Now you see Klitschko taking Joshua's right hand away, extending his left arm and just allowing him to kind of fall into his shoulders there. That'll give Klitschko a little bit of encouragement, knowing that he can land the right hand. Well, we see him try and detonate a few more. That's yeah. a good shot from Joshua. Yeah, he good did well there, back. because the first, the first right hand was blocked. 
So he then disguised the second one behind a behind a jab as well, and that did, as you say, get through. Yeah. Last time we've seen Vladimir box in the United Kingdom as a professional. Boxed uh, primarily in Germany, of course. In terms of his title defences, he did have three at Madison Square Garden. But in Switzerland! No, I'm sure he boxed in the UK before, has he not boxed in the UK? I'm positive he boxed in London before that. He may well have done. Maybe, possibly. Back in the day. Back in the day. So neither of us can remember that far back. It's because we're so young. Missed with that right hand there. Klitschko. Both guys still on that scouting mission. And both have landed reasonably big shots now. Yeah, it's starting to warm up now, isn't it? It's starting to settle into a bit of a groove. Klitschko going with the counter there. Trying to time Joshua's jab. See, he's using his left hand to pull Joshua's jab down so he can throw the right hand over the top. And Klitschko likes to do this when someone's on the way in, throwing a jab, he pulls their left hand down with his left hand and he puts his right hand over the top. It's, uh, it's built into his game. A nod there from Joshua. And he's still struggling to connect cleanly. And so is Klitschko. Is on top for both these guys through the early rounds here. Joshua trying to work inside there, something that could probably won't do. Looking for the right hand there, Klitschko, Joshua just rolled away. Left him no option but to just pull that shot there. It's a little bit better from Joshua now. Better with the jab there. Yeah. All of them. Tough to score thus far. Good start from yes, Joshua there, Nick. That's Joshua what he has that to do, combinations. Flying. Well, this is a really positive statement here, right at the start of this fifth round from Joshua, who's yep. up there, up the tempo hugely. And Klitschko's probably thinking, whoa, who's this guy? Yeah. Good start to the round. Let the combinations go nice and quick. Caught him oh, another good he's shot. Trouble here. He's, he's down. down. Oh, he's down. Incredible start. That's Absolutely amazing. Look at that. He's marked up as well, Nick, up yeah. as well. A bit of blood there. Is that a bit of blood there, Nick, as it well? Is. It is. It's a crisis. It really is. Early in this fifth round as well. Joshua just jumped on him. Stung him early. Now, can Klitschko draw on all that experience just to survive this round? Yeah, he's using his legs. Amazing. Again, testament to his condition. Choosing to dance away rather than tie Joshua up and hold. Missing quite heavily there. Klitschko is going to take the, the steam out of him as well. He doesn't want to fight with Joshua right now. Yeah, look at him back it up. Yeah. Oh, it's a big left hook, Nick. Yeah. Jumped in with that left hook, didn't he? Yeah, he jumped in with that one as well. Didn't have so much success this time. Waving the right uppercut yeah. there. I don't think he's got any intentions in throwing it, but he's waving it. Yeah. Waving it around. Yeah, he's wily enough. Look at him. He's tying yeah. him up, messing about. And I think that the, the moment may have gone here for Joshua. Yeah, definitely has. And he looks a little bit tired there, Nick. Looks like he's maybe punched himself out a little bit there. He has to wait on his second one now, Joshua, because he's uh, he's not looking too good here. Oh, and Klitschko yeah. is coming back with his jumping left. Yeah, hook. oh, it's a huge right hand from Klitschko. Joshua came back with the left hook, but I think the, the right hand from Klitschko had more effect. These are jarring, stabbing Ooh, another one. shots. Oh, Joshua's oh. now backing up. Look at this. Klitschko has turned this around completely here in this fifth round. On the floor and bleeding from that left eye, but he is definitely getting through here, and Joshua's looking really heavy left yep, here. Exhausted. My goodness me. What a dramatic fifth round this is. Joshua started off with a bang, but he couldn't get Klitschko out of there. Now it's the Ukrainian who's on top and in the driving seat. And now it's Joshua looking to hold. Yeah, Joshua needs to get a second wind here. And it's Klitschko that's coming on strong. A complete turnaround, and you can sense it in the arena as well. They were getting ready to celebrate the biggest win of oh. his career, and now Anthony Joshua is hanging on a little bit. A big uppercut getting through there as well. 
He's absolutely ripped the initiative away from Joshua here, Klitschko. It's, and there's, it's an extraordinary response to being floored. Wow, what wow. a round. Wow. He looks like he was gassed at the end of that fifth round. And it's Klitschko up on the balls of his feet really early here at the start of round six. Well, it was a slow burner, but it exploded into life in that last round. And what's going to come now? Round six. And as you say, the important thing is, can Joshua just refuel here? Yeah. Still looks a little bit on the shaky side, doesn't he? Still jumping in with those left hooks, Klitschko. Yeah. Still not quite recovered. I don't think Anthony Joshua yet. This is good, bottom of it time here. Whether or not, not that's deliberate he's or not. He, he's in no hurry to get back over there either, is he? No, he definitely isn't. No. I don't think he's in good shape at all here, Joshua. Peter Sims puts the gun shield back in. And uh, he just doesn't look quite right here, Joshua. Put a big shift into that fifth round, couldn't get him out of there. Hitchcock still standing. He's running away with it in that fifth round. Yep. And Joshua now needs to just press the reset button here. He really does. He's trying to get a, a bit zip back in his legs yet, but it's not quite come yet. Oh, oh another jolting wow, right hand wow. sends Joshua down. Anthony Joshua floored and hurt here in the sixth round. It's all unraveling for the Watford man. Unbeaten, but now on the brink of defeat. Wow. How does he respond to adversity? We've not seen this before. A bit crude leaping in there again from Klitschko, but Joshua, in a world of trouble, has to avoid those right hands now. What an extraordinary fight this is becoming. Unbelievable, Nick. He's going to look to try and land the right hand again here, Klitschko, or that jumping left hook, one or the other. It's just two pet shots, isn't it? He can't take any more of those right hands flush. Always oh, been a lethal punch from Vladimir Klitschko. Joshua's got to be smart here. Just ride this round out, give it up as a 10 8 round, get back to the corner. And whatever plan B is, put it into effect. Klitschko, though, is thinking, I don't want another round. Get this done right here. Joshua rolls inside. He's protecting himself well from that right hand. Yeah. Can Klitschko find it again? Again, the lead left hooks, they don't work. Joshua has done well evasively, uh -huh. but all over the place. Look at that. Klitschko's not quite letting enough shots go, no, though, Nick. He, he, he's he not. needs to be smarter than that. Yes, yeah, still looking for one shot, really, Klitschko here. A lovely stiff jab there, but he won't put that many combinations together, that's for sure. So what a gut check this is for Anthony Joshua. Now we find out if he's got the stuff that real champions are made of. Anybody can look good when it's easy, yeah. when you knock them and they fall down. What happens when they fall down and get back up again and then put you on the floor? That's never happened to Anthony Joshua. This is uncharted territory for him. Let's go try the left hook again. No luck. Wow. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Round seven, Vladimir Klitschko threatening to turn back the years here against the young upstart Anthony Joshua in this battle of the past and the present in heavyweight champions, both Olympic gold medalists. Now this is a real test of Joshua's legitimacy now as a champion, a legitimacy that's been questioned by some in the business after that win against Charles Martin and the defences against Dominic Brazil and Eric Molina. Well. His credentials are being checked out thoroughly here by the former champ. And at the moment, Anthony Joshua looks like this is a test he isn't going to pass. It's still Klitschko on the front foot, dictating the tempo here. And Joshua still doesn't look right. Yeah, but he is managing to evade the majority of Klitschko's quite obvious attacks now. Trying to double and treble up on the left hook. Not got much leverage on those shots, though. It's that right hand that he has to watch for Nick, and that leaping left hook. Those are the danger shots. And he mixes them up so well. Yeah. There he's fencing yeah. with the left hand, waving it in front of Joshua's eyes. Trying to keep him almost hypnotised with that, with that hand there. Preoccupy his brain with something else. And then, of course, detonate that left hook. Or that overhand right. 
good jab there again from Klitschko. That jab's working well for him now. And now Joshua engaging in a bit of chit-chat in there yeah. as well. Is that a sign of his confidence returning, or is it a, a sign of a man trying to play some mind games here? Well, if you want to play mind games with Vladimir Klitschko, good luck with that. He's seen it and heard it all. Mind games, that is a thing, Nick. I'm not too sure Vladimir will understand. Oh, it's not going to bother him. It won't bother him at all. He recite the entire works of Shakespeare if he wants. He's not going to bother Vladimir Klitschko one little bit. Good clip in the foot there from Klitschko. Just has no fight in the mark at all. His shots go oh, again. Even his jab, it doesn't look strong, yeah. Nick. It doesn't look strong. Well, you heard Rob McCracken saying, just get behind that jab, yeah. but as you say, it's it's he's more just trying to keep. Klitschko yeah. engaged at the moment rather than do any damage. Yeah. But I still but think he's feeling the effects of that last round. He he's just trying to ride is. this out. There's and get no his authority wins. at all on Anthony Joshua's punches. There is no authority on them. He's not going to get Klitschko's respect. He's not going to stop him pressing forward, looking for a big shot. Is he just trying to regroup, get his senses together? Good head movement from Anthony Joshua and there. A good, and a good response yeah. off the back end of that as well. Made Klitschko miss. Put Made a combination a together. Yeah. That's just sending a message. That's just telling your opponent, I'm OK. I'm back in this now. Well, he wanted a no drama round there, Anthony Joshua, which is exactly what he got. And I think Rob McCracken will be a little bit happier about that. If you've got a think tank in there, that's great, but those guys should be making their observations during the rounds. Yeah. And if the head trainer then wants to jump in and use some of that, that's great. But you can't be hearing all those voices when you're sat in your stalls, surely. Not a bad thing for the head trainer sometimes as well, just to ask the assistant trainer if he's got anything to add, and then yeah. the head trainer is quiet for a few seconds. He might have given himself something to build on in that last round, Joshua. He came through quite a crisis there. Legs look a little bit better as well now. Yeah, there's, there's more of a bounce about him. Like I say, he was chatting a bit in that last round as well. It, it looks like he might have uh, weathered that storm. The fifth round was not good for him, despite that early knockdown. The sixth was uh, absolutely terrible, of course. And now that he's got through... Looks to me like he's just come out of the other side of that. That could be bad news for Klitschko, who is in such great shape, and uh, there's no denying that, but there's also no denying Father Time. Vladimir Klitschko is 41 years old and doesn't want to be getting dragged into a long, drawn out, grueling duel here. Not throwing very intelligent punches at the moment either. Vladimir telegraphing the big right hand there, and Joshua is. Seeing them so much better now, slipping inside. Klitschko's still a tough man to tag, though. Yeah, it's good to see Joshua even go for the right hand, though. Well, it's a bit more of what we saw in the early yeah. rounds from Joshua. A bit more positive, isn't it? Yeah, but he's, he's still being forced onto the back foot, which is rare for Joshua. He hasn't spent much time in his career backing up. But then again, he's never met an opponent. But this man's class. Yeah, well, Clutch is going to beat him at that game all day, Nick, isn't he? The old fencing game. Standing on the outside, pulling arms down, flicking gloves away, scoring jabs. Anthony Joshua wants to be doing what Robert McCraggan suggested in the corner, get the combinations off. Hands up nice and high, chin down nice and low, and mix the combinations up. Did well to answer that Klitschko jab. It's a really good jab, and uh, Joshua answered it immediately. And we settled back into the uh, pattern of the early rounds yeah. here, where it's uh, raiding and uh, drawing leads, looking to uncork something. Yeah, can't fall into Klitschko's. Wizard lightways, he almost puts a trance on you, a spell. Gets you right where he wants you. You've got to put it on this guy now. So the fencing continuing here. We're actually now getting into the territory where 
You're starting to look at how the judges might be scoring this one. And they both had a 10-8 round, and so many rounds have been close as well. Right now, this one is up for grabs. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, we've had one question answered about Anthony Joshua tonight. How would he respond to being flawed? I mean, he got hurt in that fight against Dillian White, yeah. but he wasn't flawed, and he no. managed to weather that brief storm, but obviously a very raw Dillian White is no Vladimir Klitschko. Well, Vladimir couldn't put him away, despite putting him down. That tells you something. It's Certainly easy to be does. a bully in this business, oh, isn't it? it? But when yeah, it's coming back at you, how do you respond? And Joshua's responded really well. Yeah, that's a different... Different ball game altogether. He's been patient, he's taking his time. He's not doing anything that would leave him in a bad spot to get countered. And Klitschko has been missing a lot with those right hands. Yeah. That's the smart tactics from Anthony Joshua that we're seeing. Is he almost just trying to allow Klitschko to slowly run out of gas? He's not a young man, is Anthony Joshua thinking that? throughout this whole thing. I still feel like you've got to put the shots on him a little bit. Can't allow him to box at his own tempo all night. You know, Alex, just thinking back in the build-up to this one, especially this week, you've had one or two guys out there who should know better that have been saying, this isn't going to be much of a fight. Vladimir Klitschko's washed up. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, you're... Um, you're putting your hands over your head if you were one of those guys. Yeah. If this is washed up, my goodness. The last time an old champion loses is his power as well. Mm. Oh, oh, lovely right hand getting shot. in there Good from shot Joshua. There, yeah. He's picking some nice shots here. Robert McCracken screaming from over there, asking for combinations. Going to work to the body there, Joshua. Yeah, he needs to start throwing those combinations now. Good shot there from Klitschko, that leap on their foot. Only three fights against British opponents. Three totally different fights for Vladimir Klitschko as well. Against Hay, just had everything his own way. Against Fury, he couldn't do anything. And this one... Oh, it's amazing how quickly this one has just flashed by. Well, we're in the championship rounds now. Joshua, of course, never been this deep. Never been past seven. Didn't think he was going to get past seven here. When Klitschko had him all over the place, he really has had to suck it up. And show some genuine warrior's heart here. To take this this deep. Now, do the 41-year-old legs still have a bit of spring in their step to get him through these three the last three rounds here? Klitschko. Or is this where youth will have its day over experience? Because I think these next three rounds decide the fight. It's so close for me. Yeah, very, very close. Again, he's responded well, Joshua, to getting caught, bringing that right-hand counter in over the top. Oh, he was just a little bit short with that. Clutch can manage to shut down the distance a little bit there. Take that right hand away. Another thing he's very good at. Sensing an attack and closing it down. Tree-like arms are massive. We've got him first with the left hand. All inside, a lot of bounce and movement about Klitschko, but uh, doesn't seem to be an awful lot behind those yeah. punches from, from the veteran Ukrainian here. He's going out to the body there from Joshua. Yeah, he's landing the better yeah. punches, and there's certainly there's a lot more purchase on them. Maybe a little bit late in the day, Nick, to be getting the good body shots in there. Gonna get those in nice and early. Klitschko's still there, he's bouncing his step. Klitschko missing again with the right hand. It's been a feature of the second half of this fight, how many times Klitschko has swung that right hand and Joshua has slipped it yeah. effortlessly and made him miss. It's been really smart work defensively from Joshua. Caution from Holden there. The referee to Joshua. Yeah, overall, it's been a fight that doesn't need a referee, has no, it? Not really. It really hasn't. So you do it. Single jab there for Joshua. He did get the feeling if he doubled up on that jab like Robert McCraggan was, was asking for earlier, followed by the right hand. It'd be super effective, but Klitschko again is so good at shutting down that distance. Just marauding your attacks. Yeah, that right hand that Klitschko is trying to land on again. 
He's seen it really early, Joshua. He's still got a great bouncing step as well. He's in fantastic condition, isn't he? Oh, Ooh, both traded right hands yeah. there. Yeah. That was an exchange that could have seen one of them come off really badly. Yeah. Looks like they cancelled each other out. But, uh, what has been an epic battle so far that's seen both men on oh. the floor, and it's Joshua off to the fast start again, just as he did in the fifth round. Oh, Clutch goes wobbled there. He is, he's, he's shaky. He's shaky, look at this. Now, can Joshua sense it, and can Joshua find something else? Rattled. The 41-year-old yeah. right at the start of the round, and Joshua is looking like he's trying to hunt him down here. He needs to put them together, Nick. And there's Klitschko showing all that experience. Good well to just stay out of harm's way there. Is youth going to come into play, though, Nick? Well, it is. Can he just keep the pressure on? But don't forget, when he did that in the fifth round, he gassed himself out, Joshua. And he's just taking his time here, looking to measure Klitschko up. But that was a terrific right hand to start this round. And as Klitschko weathered that little crisis. Probing forward, Aaron Court with the left. And then forced to tie up. Really good shots here in this 11th round from yep. Joshua. And there's Klitschko going he's to work. recovered, Nick. You know he's recovered. Yeah. Bounce back in the legs yep. there. As soon as that's back. Oh, he won't recover from that. That's a huge uppercut. My goodness me, I thought he was going to go, and he didn't. Massive shot from Joshua. Oh, and now Klitschko goes. It was that first uppercut that did the damage. Klitschko down for the second time. He can't find all over there. the place. In a world of trouble. He's on his feet. Now, he's getting a few more seconds here from the referee. But Joshua is on the brink of the biggest win of oh, his career. A big right shot. hand. Now, can Klitschko rally again? Is there anything left? It doesn't look like it. Joshua's going oh, for the finish. Wow. And that might just be that. A brutal two-punch combination. Klitschko down for the second time in the round. And looking in serious distress. Will they let this carry on? They are, they're letting it go on. Or are they? Well, again, he's been given a lot more time he's by the referee, but he's, the in, neck. he's in trouble. There's still a long way to go in this round as well. Can Joshua put the exclamation point on his performance tonight and get the stoppage? Has he got the energy? Backing up. He's in big trouble. Pinned in the corner here. Can't get free. Joshua unloading and that'll do it. Oh. Absolute relief wow. on the face of Anthony Joshua. He doesn't even have the energy to smile. What a test of his character.